So in my previous video I built most of the floor and I still got this section outstanding and it will actually form part of a repair that I also need to do to the back of the cab. This section of the cab is completely rusted away so my idea is to make a section with a bend there that will then tie into the floor as well and it will sort out this mess. <laughs> Coming up. Hey, welcome back to my workshop in the forest. So the very first item on my agenda is to make up a template or a pattern to establish the shape of the piece that I need. Um, I'm using hardboard and I'm even screwing some pieces together to make up my template. So I'm spending quite a bit of time on doing this. Because the more accurate I can make this piece, the better the fitment will be and the easier everything will become down the line. So spending some time on making accurate templates is absolutely worth the trouble. And this one is looking pretty good now. Get a clamp in there. I've already been cutting it with a, a jigsaw and fine tuning it a little bit here and there to make sure I've got good fitment. So the plan is now to establish a line here where I want to bend it to cover this gap so it will bend up right across the back there. I've clamped this piece of angle bar across the back because it was quite floppy so that will just help me to line it up and now I must just measure this distance so that I know how much I need to add to the bottom piece for the bend to cover this hole. <laughs> I've got my template clamped to a piece of steel so it can't move. It's a bit odd looking, but none of these, none of this here matters. These are just old pieces, so we can ignore that. This is going to be my fold line. And then also here is going to be a fold line. I like to mark it with a scriber because it's the most accurate. So I'm just going to make my marks. Also have to cut it out here. And then across here will be a fold line for that back part. So I just need to establish a mark here and here. This line is where I need to bend it and I also need to bend it on this line because that is where it goes in underneath the tunnel. So now I need to add this piece that's going to go up the back of the cap, that vertical piece that I measured earlier. So I'm just measuring for that. No, that's wrong. It needs to be a hundred millimeters. I've got that on both sides. So this will be a cut line. And I don't know if you can see that line, that is where I'm going to bend it. And this is also a 
fold line or line where I'm going to bend. So I need to add about one inch, 25 millimeters here to create that lip that slides in underneath the tunnel section. So this will be another cut line. So cut here, there, there, and there. Okay, so I now have to bend that 90 degrees along that line and I also have to do a little bend along that line. This one will be about 45 degrees. No, must be around 60 degrees, which fits in under the tunnel. This section will be along the back. Let's go bend it up. Okay, let's just get these or this mark lined up, tighten it down, that looks pretty good, and give it a nice 90 degree bend, maybe a little bit more, okay. I've still got to do this one, but I can't stick that in here anymore because now I've got this. I need to make another plan. And my plan is to simply clamp it down onto this angle bar here on the edge of my bench. And I'm going to use my homemade body hammer to persuade it into the right direction. <laughs> if you want to see how I made this hanger, 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 hammer, I'll put a link up here on the screen. Let's give it a shot. So the golden question now is, will my piece fit? <laughs> let's go and find out. Okay, let's see. I need to slip it in here from the back. And then in there. Yeah, it doesn't fit quite yet. Needs a bit of a relief. That corner there, a little bit there, and just a wee bit here. Just going to trim a little bit off there and we'll try it again. A wee bit of material removal is required right here. <laughs> Okay, let's give it another try. 
있네. 여기 we go. Yes, it's fitting. Okay, so few things that need to happen now. I must cut this nice and clean. Got a lot of rust here, so I think I'm going to spot blast this area so I can weld there. And I need to drill some holes down here to do my plug welds. So let me just make some marks here so that my plug welds are nice and symmetrical with the existing ones. Alright, and the last one. Okay, now I can drill these holes and we can mess with the rest of it. So to make a mice mark here yeah, parallel to this edge, I'm going to use my uh, woodworking marking gauge. But it, uh, it's not really the right tool for the job because it gets worn out by the steel. So I think the time is pretty ripe for me to make one of these out of steel. You can expect a video on that soon. <laughs> Okay, I've got a mark or a line parallel to the edge and now I can draw my holes <coughs> for the plug welds. I forgot to do the last one. There we go. So I've still got this toy that I borrowed from my buddy. He picked it up at Adendorf, which is our local version of Harbor Freight. I filled it up with this blasting grit. So let's give it a shot. Well it works, but it's very slow and I think I've run out of blasting grit. So I need to refill my thing. <laughs> my thing, this container or whatever you call it. Yeah, and it's making a huge mess, but it's getting me somewhere. I guess beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> and I don't really have quite enough air for it either, I think. But we're getting by. One day, when I'm all grown up, I want a big ass compressor. This rusty section here, yeah, I'm going to cut that out later when I do a patch from the outside. And then we'll sort that out. Well, so while I was at it, I did the other side as well. And yes, this grit is making a terrible mess. It's all over the place. It's also in my ears and in my beard and in all sorts of places. <laughs> So the tech screws 
uh, holding my plate nicely down, self drilling screw, whatever you want to call it. So now I can plug weld and then in these spots, once I've done these plug welds, I can take the tech screw out and do the same in those locations. My plate was still a little proud in this spot right here by that hole. So I jammed in this piece of round bar so it, now it's pressing it down nicely. Hey, whatever it takes to hold things in place, eh? So now, of course, I've got to repeat the exercise on this side, <laughs> um, which I guess is a little bit boring because I've done it once already, but at least now I know how to do it. <laughs> so there's that advantage. Using the exact same methods, I now made a mirror image of the first one. So I've got all of this welded into place and now it's just this little piece that's still outstanding. Now I'm going to need some cereal box assistance. My wife is on the street instructions never to throw these away because they are just so handy. And I suppose I'm a bit of a miser as well. <laughs> Why should I buy it if I can use this? So that will give me that shape. I can cut that out if I can see.
go give it a try. And there we have it, the bottom end, or the bottom corner rather, of my cab is now sorted out. And at the same time, this section of the floor is also done now. That's two birds with one stone, man. <laughs> hey, how does an old mouse eat the big elephant? One tiny bite at a time. So thanks for taking a bite with me, I enjoyed your company. And I'll see you in the next video when we carry on with my elephant. <laughs> Until then, have a lucky one.